I wrote The Mountains Bible Study during a terribly painful season of isolation. I never doubted my faith in God, and thankfully I had dear friends loving me well. But I ached to experience God's nearness, His companionship. The global pandemic, its shutdowns, the polarizing political landscape, the rising racial tensions, and the insurrection on the Capitol, they were enough to make me despair. But being in vocational ministry during those fractures, it left me feeling really alone. And my prayer life during the season was a broken record. Wonderful counselor, help me. Wonderful counselor, help me. I needed to meet with God desperately. I needed to hear his voice. I needed to imagine his loving arms wrapped around me. And that's what started me on a quest to study mountains in the Bible. And here's what I found. In an ancient symbolic driven world, location didn't just matter, it had meaning. And mountains represented holy ground for connecting with God. In the same way, our faith history is filled with stories that take place on top of mountains, our spiritual lives are filled with highs and with lows. And so in this Mountains Bible study, we're gonna explore the Mount of Creation, or the place where God created Adam and Eve. We're gonna look at Mount Sinai, where Moses gives the Israelites the Mosaic Law. We're gonna look at Mount of the Sermon, where Jesus delivers his most famous message. And we're gonna look at the Mount of Transfiguration, where Jesus reveals his glory to his disciples. And last, we're gonna look at the Mount of Great Commission, where Jesus' disciples are commissioned on top of a mountain. As it turns out, the functions mountains serve in my personal life is a place to connect with my Savior where the air is thin. It's the same function it serves in the scripture. So if you need to connect with God, this study is for you. If you need to rediscover your vision for the future, this study is for you. And if you need to restore your hope in God's presence, this is the Bible study for you.